The iPad Pro is mentioned in a YouTube video every, I don't know, five minutes or so. Uh, it is a laptop replacement apparently. It apparently is the greatest thing Apple's ever made. And it apparently even might have cured COVID. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but from what I've heard on YouTube, the iPad Pro is the Jesus Christ of tablets and laptops and computers and technology in general. But despite all the high praise, I don't really want to buy an iPad Pro and I don't see myself buying one in the near future. Because instead of an iPad Pro, I've actually been using this. It's the 6th generation $329 iPad. The normal base model iPad. And I use it for work every day. You know, I write scripts on this, I review video on it, I edit photos in Lightroom on this, uh, I use it for content consumption. I watch YouTube videos, watch some Netflix, Plex, whatever I got going on. I use this thing every single day as a form of a laptop. It isn't my laptop replacement, but it does get the job done for a lot of things. Now, before you get all crazy and start getting mad at me, yes. I have used an iPad Pro. For about a month, I used a 2018 11-inch iPad Pro, which in reality is the iPad to get 2020 update. Wasn't really that much, stick with the 2018s. Regardless of that, I gotta admit, I did like it. Is it a great device? Absolutely. Did it do everything I threw at it well? Absolutely. But do I miss it? Not really. Now, I recognize that the iPad Pro is a better machine. It's faster. It looks better. The screen on it is way better. The speakers are cleaner. I recognize these benefits to it. I mean, the design alone is worth the price in all honesty. It's beautiful. But it does the exact same thing as the base model iPad. And the work that I was doing on the iPad Pro, when I started doing it on the iPad, it did it about the same. And that's the thing. I didn't notice how much faster the iPad Pro was. Is it faster? Yes, I know it is. But it didn't feel night and day faster. The thing is, Apple's mobile chips are so amazing, the ones that they actually build themselves, that it makes these devices last forever and continue to work really well, even when they're getting older. And I'm not gonna say the sixth generation is super old, it's a couple years old at the most. It still runs perfectly. I've never had issues with speed, with any weird connection stuff. Um, I bought a bridge keyboard for this, so when I want a physical keyboard, I have that. It feels great. I, it types better than the Apple Smart Keyboard, so I do enjoy using it. And the nice thing is, you know, it's pretty cheap because it's an older iPad than the iPad Pro. See, the point of all of this is the iPad is an affordable experience. And the thing is, is that it's not the iPad for your mom. I see that constantly being promoted. This is the every man's iPad. This is for the beginners, for the ones that just need a tablet to watch YouTube and Netflix, right? It's more than that, because I can get real work done on an iPad. It's hard for me to actually recommend to people getting an iPad Pro. I guess if you need to edit all your videos in LumaFusion or run a podcast studio, from your iPad, then yeah, the iPad Pro is gonna work better for longer. But really, who wants a handicapped experience when for relatively the same price, a computer, a laptop, a desktop, does the same things better? I understand the appeal of the iPad, the iPad Pro, in that tablet lifestyle, I get it. But for the price, it's hard for me to recommend a $800 tablet when the $329 one does the same things about as good. And even better than that, I have found this iPad and even the newer 7th generation one under $300 routinely on Amazon. I got nothing against the iPad Pro. I think it's an amazing device and I love it. I love the design and everything about it. I just don't understand the need to spend that much on a secondary device. I already have my computer. I have a laptop that does all these things better than the iPad. But overall, if you're looking at a tablet and you don't really need it as your main computer, I'm gonna highly suggest you pick up the base model iPad. It's pretty amazing for that price. And I'm gonna leave links in the description to the cheapest places I could find the iPad right now. Um, again, I usually see it under $300, so if you're paying base $329, you might be overpaying for it, actually. Uh, so check the links in the description. Let me know what you guys think of the iPad. Is it your favorite device in the world? Do you use an iPad as your only work device? Let me know what apps you use and like how that's going for you because I'm actually very curious about that uh, and I'll see you guys later.